this website called smallpdf.com, which essentially provides PDF tools to convert PDF files to Word and vice versa, and some other tools I'll go over in just a second, is one of the 200 most visited websites in the internet with over 50 million active users every single month. He's just acquired a Swiss-owned PDF tool for a cash consideration of $30 million, right? So this PDF toolkit right here has acquired another PDF little toolkit for $30 million. So you can just imagine how much money these guys are making. And in this video, I want to break down their SEO strategy. I'm going to go over their traffic as well. As you can see here, almost 25 million visitors every single month. Right, all this mostly come from organic, as we can see down here. Right, 70% of their traffic comes from organic, so they have a very, very aggressive SEO strategy. They also have around um, 1.4 million backlinks. Right, so let's just go over what they are. Essentially, what they are, they have a bunch of tools here, is they allow you to compress PDFs, convert PDF into any other type of document, scan PDFs, split PDFs, merge PDFs. You can see here they have the whole list kit of PDF tools, right? A super niche but highly profitable um, tool right here, right? And as you can see here, it is based on a $22 billion global document management market. So if you didn't know, apparently I didn't know as well, but the whole global uh, market for document management is worth $22 billion and smallpdf.com is capturing on that uh, very, very profitably. So with that being said, let's go over how they're making it this much money by essentially uh, leveraging organic search engines like Bing or Google to bring in traffic to their site. So first things first, and I'll leave a link for, for this tool in the description if you want to use it. Um, uh, get this access to a bunch of SEO data. We also allow you to track unlimited keyword here. So if you're looking for a keyword rank tracker, this one is perfect because you can track unlimited keywords. So yeah, if you go down here, um, of course, 80,000 80, organic keywords, 1.4 million backlinks, 31,000 uh, referring domains, and element authority of 74. So they've been around for a while. They have a lot of backlinks, a lot of traffic. So they've been able to build up this authority in um, Google's eyes. Now, top keywords here. Before we look at the top keywords, let us look at the top pages because this is where they're actually making their money, right? So if I just zoom here right now, as you can see, they have dedicated pages to every one of their tools. PDF to Word, Merge PDF, PDF to JPEG, right? All these come from these little pages. As you can see here, PDF to Word, right? So again, added PDF, JPEG to PDF, Word to PDF, uh, compressed PDF, PDF converter, right? All of these little tools inside of this PDF ecosystem have dedicated pages to them. And the traffic is insane. 60,000 people every single month come to this page by searching for PDF to Word and other, a bunch of other keywords that go directly here. And as you can see here, this page is very well optimized for that. First things first, in terms of user optimization, this is very smart, right? There's no ads, there's no, you don't have to scroll down to just find where you upload the file. It's just here above the fold. You click it, you add the files, right? If you just use this little plugin right here, which I'll link in the description as well, we can see the meta title is convert PDF to Word for free, right? Super simple, and it is what people are searching for. This page is matches people's search intent with then a branded mention here. Again, meta description is convert the PDF to Word online for free. Right, they, they even sprinkle a couple of more keywords here, but super simple, super straight to the point. Headings, of course, the H1 is gonna be PDF to Word Converter, right? People are searching for this, and this page is highly optimized for that, right? So if we keep on scrolling down, this is where the page uh, gains more relevancy, right? They have the explanation of the tool here with, of course, some internal links right here, right? Making sure the power flows through the other pages, and then a little tutorial here, another tutorial right here, social proof, and then cost to action to the other tools. Super simple, slim page, not the prettiest of all, but it converts very, very well. And again, they have pages for all of these. All of these have the same type of page with the same age ones. Actually, this one is a bit different, but more or less the same. This one, I'm assuming this one was made uh, later on. Yeah, so these ones are a bit more uh, like the same. But yeah, essentially all these pages are the same age ones, uh, meta titles, the exact match keyword. They sprinkle, uh, sprinkle a bunch of other keywords here. Um, age one is of course the main keyword. All these are super simple with a clear call to action here, right? Super simple. Also, one thing that's very important, when people search for uh, compressed PDF online, there are gonna be a lot of sites that do this because this is not hard to do, right? 
But one thing you want to do with your content when you're, when you're creating content, whether that's a simple page like this or an actual blog content, you want to increase the dwell time, so the amount of time people spend on the page before they go back, and decrease the bounce rate. Because if people just come into your site and they cannot find this, because all the people that are searching for this, they want to find this. This is what they need. They just want to do this. They don't care about all this. People don't care about this, right? Most people won't even scroll down. This is just to give the page relevancy in Google's eyes and in search engine's eyes, right? You need to provide them with this because if you don't see it right away, they're going to go back and click the second result until they click one that shows them right away what they want to see. And if this happens a lot to you, eventually your site's going to start ranking down and down and down because Google wants to provide its users with search results that they spend a lot of time in, right? Because if they spend a lot of time in the result, whether that's reading a blog or using a tool, it means that user, that Google, sorry, was able to achieve their purpose, which is essentially connecting users and their search queries with results that provide um, a quality content to their search intent. And that is, that means, of course, people spending time on the page more and more, right? So all of these pages have dedicated um, pages, sorry, all these tools have dedicated pages to it, which is super interesting to see, and they're, of course, very well optimized to rank for them, right? So that's the first thing, first thing, it's tailoring, and this is similar to what Canva does, I'll have a video on that as well on the channel, similar to what Airbnb does as well. So all these big companies are more or less doing the same, this sort of programmatic SEO approach, uh, programmatic SEO approach to SEO, which is uh, quite interesting, right? So let me just close all these ones, and if we go back here to my little tool, campaign tool, we of course can take a look at the keywords, top your rankings, a PDF to Word, PDF to JPEG, JPEG to PDF, PDF editor. So the domain, of course, and the whole brand ecosystem is very uh, niche down to PDF something, right? The whole point of this business is PDF something. They even say, we make PDF easy, right? Super, super interesting. Now we do see that, of course, some competitors are gaining market share. For example, I love PDF.com essentially does the same thing, right? They're the same thing. It is a simple product. In the end of the day, it is a simple product. And again, they have split PDF. They have dedicated pages to things you can do with PDFs. Now, these aren't that well optimized because you can see I cannot scroll down, right? If I click on the Merge PDF tool, I cannot scroll down. They're not trying to optimize these pages for uh, for the search engines, right? Because there's no content on these. They are very thin pages, right? So if I were if I were them, of course, I would, of course, make sure these pages have a little more, bit more juice just like the ones on here. They don't have to have much, but they explain what it is and give it a bit more context for search engines to rank these pages higher. Now, if we go here to backlinks, we can see that some of them come from GitHub, some of them even come from Apple Maps. And let me open here a couple more, Wikipedia, and of course Reddit. This is a very shareable uh, type of tool, right? These are helpful tools and insightful little tools that can help uh, work with anything. Of course, ones come from Apple for their, from their uh, Apple um, application, iOS application. I'm not sure where this one comes from. And a bunch of them come from Reddit for, again, because this is a very shareable piece of equipment, a very shareable tool. But the biggest thing they're doing is having dedicated pages to each one of their little tools inside of this niche that are, of course, well optimized for search, just like we saw here with the proper meta title, proper meta description, proper headings, right? Images, of course, there are some without alt text, but this is an easy fix. They most likely know what they're doing. But short video today, I guess I just wanted to show you uh, the power that uh, search engines can have in, in business because these guys, and this is not often that we see this, often, most of the times, the direct traffic is the highest amount right here, but on these guys, 70% of their traffic, of their money makers, come from search engines. And that's very interesting, very powerful. Yeah, that's it. Short one today. Hopefully you like it. By the way, if you want to use this tool, I'll leave a link in the description for it. Again, you can have access to a bunch of SEO data, backlinks, top keywords. You can even put a competitor URL here and track their keywords, track their backlinks, track all that. Uh, it also gives you access to a keyword rank tracker, uh, which you can track unlimited keywords. And also, by the way, uh, you've seen me probably building out and doing some case studies on directory sites, marketplaces like the one we have here, uh, like Veta, I'm sure you, by now you already know I'm the owner of Veta, essentially a marketplace listing site. If you want to build something similar like a listing website, uh, we just started this, we're just seeing if people are interested. If you are, we give you access to a tool that lets you build a online directory listing marketplace type of site. It is 100% refundable, so you pay $99, 
for life, right? To give you access to the software for life that allows you to build an actual listing website. If you don't like it, just refund you. Uh, we just want to get some people on here before we actually start uh, developing this further. That's it. Also, I got to plug this little tool, journalist tool, uh, allows you to create uh, AI content in mass in any language, English, Portuguese, Spanish, Danish, whatever you want uh, for your business, tailored to your business, and also allow you to have an automated blog. So essentially a blog that, sorry about that, that allows you to essentially um, in seconds have a little blog up with content out of posting to it every couple of hours. You can choose the frequency if you want to post 10 posts an hour you can, 100 posts a day, whatever it is, with the simple click of a button, you can have a blog just like this one up and running. That's it. Again, I'll leave links for all this in the description. This one, the little tool, uh, vetted as well, and this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.